Hello soil physicists. Today we will be explaining the importance of particle density and the procedure for finding in the lab, as well as the calculations associated with it. The group members that will be speaking today are Go. Keenan Bowles, Garrett Schatz, Kelly Edlington, oh. <laughs> Adam Shanebeck, and myself, Lydia Campbell. Particle density is an important contributing factor to the porosity of the soil, which has a large influence on soil health. A high particle density with a low bulk density means that you have soil with high porosity, which is good for things such as water drainage and heat insulation. Particle density is finicky to measure, so it's often estimated to be 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter, since this is the density of quartz, a dominant mineral in many soils. In essence, particle density is measured as the dry mass of the solids divided by the volume of the solids. And units for this are grams per cubic centimeter. And yeah. All right, so one procedure for determining particle density is uh, the pycnometer method, which we did in class. So you take a clean, dry pycnometer, which is this lovely drawing right here. Uh, you weigh that, and then you add a, ground, a known mass of ground up soil to it and fill it about two-thirds full of water. And then you place it in a warm sand bath to eliminate any trapped air or uh, anything in that soil. After it's through that sand bath, you let it cool for a little while and then fill it all the way to the top of the water and place your stopper in. And the stopper is important because it has a capillary tube that pushes out any more water that we don't need. We also take the temperature at this point and it will be used to calculate particle density in the next step. After massing the pycnometer and the pycnometer in soil, you can then find the mass of the soil by itself. Then you fill the pycnometer with soil and with water, and you can find the mass of everything combined. After you empty it and take the temperature of the water, you can use a chart to find the density of the water at that temperature. Then you refill the pycnometer with water and take the mass of the pycnometer, just the water. Then you come down to calculations and you find the mass of the water displaced, which is the mass of the pycnometer in water, plus the mass of just the solids, minus the mass of everything combined. That's 38.16 plus 9.18 minus 43.63 grams gives you a total of 3.71 grams. After that, you can find the volume of the solids, which is the mass of water displaced, over the density of water. 3.71 grams divided by 0 0.9952 grams per cubic centimeter gives you 3.73 cubic centimeters. After that, you bring it all up to find the uh, to find the thing that we're supposed to find, which is the mass of the solids over volume of solids, gives you a grand total of 2.46 grams per cubic centimeter. So we're going to uh, say anything? Like, Thank you.